Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, Trevor North is on the topic for discussion for tonight. Seems like he's leaving. I get this from Jezebel.com and um, Emily LeBert, Bert LeBert wrote the article for the Jezebel magazine and she titled it Trevor North Smooch the Lupa and Quit the Daily Show in the Same Week. Damn. Okay. The South Af African comedian and host of The Daily Show is dating someone new. Ah, hmm. Daily Show host Trevor uh, Noah, who took over for Jon Stewart in 2015, seems to be pulling a Pete Davidson style career course correction. The South African comedian was seen prancing about New York City with pop star Miss Lupa on Wednesday night, according to the Daily Beast, and loud quitting his hosting gig on Thursday night in front of an audience. So dramatic. I just mailed their application in to Tish. Hmm. First, the more urgent of the two news items, the romp Noah 38 and Dula Peep 27 were spotted for the first time together at Miss Lily's a Jamaican spot in the East Village. In exclusive photos, the duo are seen cozing up together in a corner of a restaurant. Daily Mail claims that two have some stellar chemistry and sealed the evening with a kiss and a street hug or snuggle. Uh, Miss Lupta can even be seen on her tippy toes as she goes in for the hug. What is this, a rom-com? I'm equal parts nauseated and delighted for them. The onlooker told Daily Mail they were quietly set away from everyone else at the restaurant. It was clear that they were into each other and sat close together throughout the meal. They left together and walked, stopping for long embraces and on the second kiss with hugs. Well, alrighty then. Alrighty then. I'll venture to say that a funny, brilliant, generally unproblematic political Cetris is a big step up from uh, Lupus X, uh, Bella and Gigi brother, who is an admitted anti-vaxxer. The two split in December 2021 after two years of on again, off again chaos. The bar was set pretty damn low, but Lupa has pole vaulted right over it. As for Noah, apparently he separated from ex Minka Kelly, who I know exclusively as Layla for Friday Night Lights in May of this year after their own two-year relationship. I love when celebrities play musical chairs. <laughs> Amid all this making out with a cool, beloved pop star in a video statement shared on Twitter Thursday, Noah said that their uh, Noah said, after seven years as host of the Comedian or C Comedy Central show, he is leaving the show. A Comedy Central source told TMZ that his decision has to do with his schedule, which is hardcore crazy, and it's just too much of a grind for him to do a daily show. It's been absolutely wonderful. It's something that I've never expected, Noah said, of his experience hosting the show. I found myself thinking throughout the time of everything we've gone through, the Trump presidency, the pandemic, just the journey, more pandemic. And I realized that after the seven years, my time is up. Anyways, I hope the new lovebirds are so smitten that they're levitating. I'm sorry. 
uh, and they go into pretty much giving us the ending of the story. So what do y'all think about um, Trevor North or Noah leaving The Daily Show? Let's see if he's going to be actually on this audio that I can get y'all to listen to. And is he serious about Miss Lupta? <laughs> I was chatting to Roy Wood Jr. Uh, yesterday when we finished uh, the show, and he reminded me that it has been seven years since we started The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Yeah, this week is our anniversary. And one of the, one of the overriding feelings I, I, I found myself experiencing throughout the night and, and even today waking up was was a feeling of gratitude, you know? Like Ronnie, like the journey we've been to, on together has been wild, you know, Roy, you know, all the correspondents, everyone. There's, there's so many people who, who make this thing come together. And I want to say thank you to the audience for an amazing seven years. It's been wild. It's been, it's been truly wild. first started, and you, you remember this, Ronnie, it was, you know, so many people didn't believe in us. It was a crazy bet to make. I mean, I, I still think it was a crazy choice. Um, you know, this, this random African and bringing a Chinese guy from Malaysia. And <laughs> Chinese guys with accents you know, on American um, TV. Yeah, yeah man, and, and, and what a journey it's been. Every single one of you who comes here to support us every single day, everybody who's, who's watched the show, and then it's grown all around the world, and you know, we, I recently went to India for the first time, and there are people there who, you know, have supported everything that we've done, and I, I just found myself filled with gratitude for, for the journey. It's been, it's been absolutely amazing. It's something that I never expected, and I found myself thinking throughout the time, you know, everything we've gone through, you know, the Trump presidency, the, the pandemic, uh, just the journey of, you know, the more pandemic. Um, <laughs> and... And, and I realized that after the seven years, um, my time is up. I, uh, yeah, but in, 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 the most, in the most beautiful way, honestly. I, I've loved hosting this show. It's been one of my greatest challenges. It's been one of my greatest joys. I, I, I've loved trying to figure out how to make people laugh even when the stories are particularly shitty on the worst days. You know, we've, we've laughed together, we've cried together. Um, but after seven years, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's time, you know? I spent two years um, in my apartment, not on the road, you know, stand-up was done. And, and when I got back out there again, I realized there's another part of my life that I want to, I want to carry on exploring, you know? I miss learning other languages. I miss going to other countries and putting on shows. I, you know, miss being everywhere, doing everything, and, and I'm really grateful to every, every single person who's here, even the people who aren't here right now, because they went on to do great things who helped us do this thing. Um, you know, it's a, it's a weird thing to say. I've never been good at, uh, at goodbyes. And it's not instant, I'm not disappearing, don't worry. <laughs> if I owe you money, I'll still pay you. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm really grateful, you know, to a network who believed in this, this random comedian nobody knew on this side of the world, you know, South Africans knew and loved me, yeah, <laughs> you know, and, um, and yeah, you know, Paramount has been amazing, Viacom, CBS has been amazing, Bob Backish, who believed in me, Chris McCarthy, Kai's, you know, even the previous team, Kent and Sarah and Michelle and Doug, and, and uh, I've been lucky enough to be doing multiple projects with them, and I've, I've been inspired by, by new ways to express myself, you know, whether it be hosting a White House Correspondents Dinner or doing different stand-up shows around the world, whatever, whatever it may be. The point is, um, I want to say thank you to you. And, and to you who watch this, and to you who come, and sometimes you do both. Because, um, man, I, I, never, I never dreamed that I would be here. I sort of felt like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I came in for a tour of what the previous show was, and then the next thing I know, I was handed the keys. Um, but uh, I, I couldn't have done it without you, and I wouldn't have wanted to do it without you. And so uh, we'll figure out the timings and the whens. You know, we'll, we'll still be here for the time being. But uh, 
All I can say is thank you very much. You truly made this. You truly made this. And what do y'all think about that? He's leaving on top of his game. He seems like he really missed doing stand-up comedy, which, you know, is an art in itself. Everybody can't make everybody laugh. And sometimes, like me, I don't be trying to make people laugh, but they just get a good kiki ha-ha off of me. And that's fine. It's good. <clears throat> but um, he's a cutie patootie, isn't he, y'all? So I think we will miss him. Definitely, we will miss him. Because uh, I remember he did some award show and he uh, introduced Bruno Moss and Anderson Pack. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I like that. I like him. But <laughs> didn't know he was leaving so soon. But, you know, seven years, that's a lot, especially if you don't have anywhere else to go uh, in that profession. And he did it mem- remarkably. Um, he had held some uh, political uh, discussions as well. And they were challenging but insightful. And uh, especially when it was with the Trump administration. But it's just another here nor there. We ain't getting no grandpa or anything like that. We worried about Grandpa Joe Biden right now. Right about now. Uh, filing off of bicycles and shit. But it just here what it is. But we wish him well. And I don't know if he's going to be definitely dating, what's her name, De La Lupa? I guess she's a, some kind of music artist, I believe. I think I've seen her name somewhere in the music industry. But that is cute. Cute enough. He's young still. He knows what he wants. He knows where he was. And he knows where he wants to be. So, uh, more power to him. Godspeed. And uh keep him in prayer let he continue to do what he needs to do and no harm or weapons shall be forged against him okay and we will see y'all next time oh don't forget to subscribe 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 share 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 if you care and definitely like my videos if you like any other content okay and even if you didn't like any other content like it anyway okay and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time Bye bye